Hi everybody, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. Hope you guys are doing well. Fantastic weather here at Taterland and uh, I've been really, really happy lately. Things have been going very well. You can tell by the smile on my face and my attitude and my constant reminders when I look at the weather over on the East Coast going on right now, I'm like, uh, I, you know, I'm glad I gave up and turned around and came back here to boringly predictable, sunny Arizona. I appreciate you guys joining me on the channel. I will be uploading this video with some connecting internet. Check out the video description below where you can get high speed unlimited internet at home or on the road. The solar system is keeping up incredibly well with the new heated batteries that are in the blue shed there. Diana's been working on this area for Jax's memorial. She painted the rocks in the heart shape. I tease her because it's a heart here, but you go over here and I kind of think it looks like a butt. <laughs> so, depends on what vantage point you're looking at it from, but we're doing good. I'm actually keeping up really, really well right now. And uh, I want to show you kind of how I'm keeping up and how I'm keeping cool and comfortable here in the 90s in Arizona. So we'll start here in the Bigfoot, my RV, where I'm living and staying very, very comfortable. Uh, pretty much between 70 and 74 degrees, no matter what even when it's 90 plus outside. And that is because I've went back to this, this trusty window AC unit. Now this is a one of a kind air conditioner and a big shout out to Aja from Pandemonium who told me about this technology, I think two or three summers ago. And uh, it, it, it works incredibly well in a very well insulated RV. Uh, my Tioga is not so much, but I, I am incredibly impressed this is a window AC. It's a 12,000 BTU. It's a U-shaped uh, inverter. It's got a built-in inverter air conditioner. Um, so it doesn't fit the sliding window correctly. I'll show you on the inside what it looks like. I made it work though. But uh, it slowly ramps up the watts just like a mini split. Living rooms, bedrooms, dinettes. Oh yeah, you can cool them with Medea. We're talking about that AC. Medea, it's just like, it's just like a mini split. And it's a 700 watt max. It will not go over 700 watts no matter what. Compared to 1400 watts on the roof AC, even with the soft start. So this does does nothing all day as far as my batteries. It's just running off solar all day. I turn it on at 8 a.m., turn it off at 6 p.m. My batteries stay at 100% no matter what. So that stays there and it's super quiet. I'll show you on the inside here. It is the most quiet air conditioner. I've, it is literally on full blast right now. I've even taken it off of eco mode. We are on high cool set to 60 degrees and currently it is 73 degrees in here. I did have to sacrifice one part of the window. I've used cardboard and tape to keep the cool in and to keep the heat from coming in. But you know, at night I can still just turn off the AC mode and turn the fan on and have some, some air blowing this way. Uh, it's just incredibly comfortable. I have that combined with my little Ryobi fan to kind of circulate the air. And I'm only cooling half the RV because the bathroom door I leave it cracked just like this so the kitties can go in and out right there. Uh, this is the one that can close completely and block off half of the RV. Again, I, I just keep it kind of cracked like that for the cats. And then in here, I've got air blowing out the vent and in through the other window right there, fresh air. This is fine at night. Batteries here at about 12, 15 p.m. We are asking for a thousand watts total. That's with 600, 700 on the air conditioner and the other things going on. We're bringing in more, 1300 just on the solar and the roof, not even plugged into the blue shed. Batteries are creeping up to 100%. They're at 96 now. By about 2 p.m. I'll be back to 100%. Just, it just works perfectly. If there's other units like this Medea online, I have not heard of them. It is the only super quiet, incredibly efficient window AC unit that has a built-in inverter that I know of. And man, I love this thing. Obviously I cannot travel with it, but for here at camp, it's working great to replace the rooftop air conditioner. Just ice cold air and silent. 
The kitties, in fact, might not even like all the cool temperature. You can see Opie up in the cupboard up there. Hi, buddy. Can I have a paw? No, you chillin'? All right, buddy. And, and Terry here by, by the window, chillin', of course. You know, cats are not too much bothered by the heat anyway, so I think I make it a little too cold in here, in fact, and so they go try to find a warm spot. Is that cubby a little warmer, Opie? All right, buddy. You guys are so sweet. You're my babies. Yes, we're going to work on your catio in a future project. Tear, tear yours. That one's yours. Thanks for kisses. Nice, sweet babies. Of course, with the air conditioning in there and then stepping out here, it's like whew, 94 feels pretty darn warm <laughs> out here. But we've got the pool, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And Diana's still parked over here. And her two kitty cats run free around the property. They've caught several lizards and mice around here. I actually haven't checked here. I catch one pack rat a day. Oh, all four traps are unclosed. So we haven't caught anything in the last 24 hours, but I pretty much catch one pack rat a day underneath my hood right here if the kitties don't get them first, which means Yin is probably doing his job. I had mentioned on Monday that I'm packing up to leave this weekend. So we got an event going on. I'm going to be out of here. Diana's going to stay at the property and keep eyes on everything for me. And uh, speaking of Diana and I, I got, I'll say something because everybody keeps asking. Uh, yeah, her and I uh, have really been getting to know each other and uh, we've been friends for several years on the road. We've met up several places along the road um, and it just, it, it morphed into now we're in a, a relationship and we get along really, really well. Um, she is a social person just like me. So, um, I'm sure you'll be seeing more of her on my channel in, in our travels together, but there are still some parts of my life that, uh, I may not talk about. I may just choose to take some days off and not even film. And as her and I go out, we have a couple traditions already here in Sholo. We got Margarita Mondays where we try out a new Mexican restaurant on Mondays. And there's a lot of them in Sholo. We've got Wednesday karaoke nights at the Y bar and we just started doing uh, fish Fridays as well. So, um, yeah. Diana and I are very, very happy together. And if you can tell the radiant smile on my face, things have been going really well. And we, we are just so incredibly compatible. I don't know why it took this long to go from friends to anyways, need to fill up these propane bottles. Look at this guys. This dryer popped up on marketplace. Danny actually caught it. An hour later, I was there to pick it up. This is not a, just a normal dryer, guys. I paid $25 for this dryer. It's your normal looking dryer, right? No. This Admiral dryer is a propane dryer. Propane, guys. I can run it off my propane tank right there, which is great because out here off grid, it's kind of hard to run a 240 volt dryer out here, you know? So um, it does have a standard 110 volt plug, so it draws some watts, but nothing like what a normal dryer would pull with a 240 volt. And then right here, this is the propane part right here. So it takes propane input and then there's your heat output. So it's already converted or possibly even stock uh, propane dryer, which is gonna work great in Babe the Boo Box here in a future episode when we install the washer too. And for reference, I'm not going through a lot of propane right now. I actually, this will be the first refill since I've been back. So these two tanks are my portable tanks. I use them for my barbecue grill over there, as well as my fire pit. And then one of them is always plugged into my quick connect on the RV. So I don't have to refill the RV main tank. I just refill these. So we're going to be taking those to town today in the truck. The other way, I've been staying cool. Yeah. And of course, behind my solar panel array, my beloved... Well, I did prove a couple weeks ago that I could run this as a hot tub at 104 degrees off grid, but there's no need to do that. I really like to keep it in the 80s and usually I wake up in the morning and today we're up to 81 degrees with the heater on set to 86. So once it gets to 86, it'll shut off. It's a nice little heated pool. I've got my cup holders over there. I've also just recently installed an outdoor TV. Might be hard to see on, on your side there, but it's really bright. And it's nice just to sit here and watch Hulu, Netflix, YouTube, anything I want on, on the TV out here in the shade without melting. 
here you can see what the TV normally looks like. I can never seem to capture it with the glare going on back here, but it's super bright for us and very comfortable inside the hot tub underneath the solar panels. I will cover it if and when it rains because there is a little gap between the solar panels where, you know, I'm gonna have to put some wrap on. I know the monsoon season's coming, but you know, for a hundred bucks, uh, a TV out here that, you know, I just don't care about if it gets ruined. It's really nice and very comfortable out here. And you guys know me by now on my channel. I don't do things like everybody else does them and I don't switch my ways because everybody says I should do it a certain way. A lot of people think that this heated pool would be a lot better out in the sun because the solar would heat it up with the cover on it. And maybe I'm just the only person in the world, I am not comfortable baking out in the sun out there with no shade inside my pool. About 30 minutes in here, about one beer, then I'll get back to work on projects. And then in an hour, if I get hot, I'll jump right back in. And again, once this gets up to 86 degrees, it'll stop pulling any power, just, just the pump off the solar today. Inside the shed here, we'll just check real quick. Yep, 56.0 volts. My 48 volt system is definitely floating right now with my lithium batteries. I'm gonna show you the washing machine here in a bit when we install that permanently. I've also got my freezer plugged back in. We're gonna go do some shopping and start stocking up on stuff like meats and have ice cream and stuff like that. We're down to five degrees in there after just two hours of being plugged in. The, this won't draw any power at all. In the meantime, like I said, need to go run some errands in town. Uh, Danny's actually at work right now, so I'm gonna get his help later to unload the dryer. I got it in there by myself. Slid it across somebody's lawn and hooked it up. <laughs> 25 bucks, I was like, I don't even care if it don't work, but then I plugged it in here. It works, it works. So anyways, I'll go hit up Diana, lock everything up and we'll go for a ride. It is nice that at least this truck does have very good working air conditioning, right? Definitely. We are we are spoiled in the in in the truck. Also, as we continue, as I continue to vlog, I want you to know that you know Diana's gonna be doing her own thing, and you have some social media. You want to share with them some of your social media in case maybe somebody wants to follow your perspective of things. Yeah, of course. Thank what you. Is, I have you? Instagram. You can follow me at blossoms underscore road underscore life on Instagram. And I also have um, the, the Facebook for the cats, which is called Life with Yin and Yang on Facebook. Yeah. And then I, I'm barely starting to open a, another YouTube channel called Diana and Kitties. Shoot, Diana I forgot. and Kitties. I Diana think so, yeah. and Kitties. Whoop. So, with, which would focus mainly on the kitties and on us. And I'll put some video descriptions below if you want to check out some of her socials as well for some different perspectives. Oh, and I also have an Etsy shop that I'm selling home handmade earrings. Indeed. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Get moving. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get some gas first. We're paying down to three forty nine here in uh, Sholo, the lowest it's been since I've been back this year, actually. Then I'll get my propane bottles filled, and I have put Diana in charge of finding a restaurant for lunch. All right, we just got propane, and Diana picked us out a good one here. Uh, it's called Munich Haas Grill and Beer Garten. It's a German restaurant. Well, we're gonna check out the outside area first. A lot of these places have these outdoor areas. Nice, and there's some shady spots. They got a stage over there for music, but there's no live music tonight. And then we can order food and drinks out here. Uh, they have a lot of beer on tap. I went with their German golden ale and Diana got a, I think it's from WOW, right? Yeah, it's a wheat beer. It's a, it's orange peel wheat beer. It looks hazy. How is it? So good. Nice. Oh, so orangey. Oh, okay. We only got 16 more beers to try here, so. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that's good mm. stuff. That's German beer. Well, I think we have to order a, a beer pretzel because we're the German place. Yes. It has to be a beer. You gotta get a beer yeah. pretzel. Yeah, we'll start with that and then maybe put some other stuff in. Ah, we're trying a little bit of everything here. We got the pretzel, she's got some mustard sauce. I got the beer cheese and I got the bratwurst sausage with their homemade potato chips. And Diana's trying the apple flavored something brat. Um, apple sausage. Apple sausage, yeah. So it's good. We dip some pretzel in the beer cheese. Mmm, the honey mustard Ooh, is it's good. It's hot though. 
Is it? It's too spicy for me. Well, we're going to stop here at uh, Home Depot, especially looking at the perennials where you can plant them once and, and they come back every year. You don't have to replant them. That'll do well at Taterland. Since I'm going to be gone for the weekend, uh, give Diana something to do. <laughs> you can decorate, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. Maybe we'll go inside and pick out some flowers too. These are two for 20. They need some water bad, but... Oh yeah, here's our section. The clearance 250, somebody already killed them, so we don't have to worry about it. We'll, we'll revive them. <laughs> All right, uh, we did pick out a, a strawberry plant too. It's a it's a perennial strawberry, so um, it, it will come back. It needs full sun, so we're gonna we're gonna try one of those. <sighs> what a day, guys! What a day! I needed to pick up a hat, uh, so. Uh, because the sun has just been melting me. It's so intense here in Arizona. And if I'm gonna be outside in the sun, I need protection for my ears and my face and my cheeks. And plus it has really good ventilation all the way through. So this is my, my new off-grid hat. I feel like this is something Camper Van Kevin would wear. But also on Marketplace on the way back, somebody responded to me. I picked up this little mini fridge. I'm gonna use it for uh, extra beer storage in Babe the Blue Box. Uh, and Diana is gonna be busy while I'm gone. We went with, um, I, I believe everything in here is a perennial, not an annual. So once it dies this winter, it will, it will come back. You don't have to replant anything, all of them. We got a lot of different colors of things. I can't remember what everything is called. I know that's a strawberry plant. So we're gonna have some strawberries in here. That'll be nice. If that if the strawberries work, we're probably gonna expand that too. I'm gonna get the hose and water these all down. And then this tree, I forget what is it. It's a raspberry, a raspberry tree. So we're gonna have some fruit trees. And then I believe this is the blueberry tree. Yeah, a blueberry tree. And then just some other colors and other things just to see how this area fills out. Um, got four bags of miracle Grow soil to go around the base and underneath and some plant food and some of this weed control film to put down so that uh, I don't have to weed this area, hopefully. So I definitely can't wait to see what Diana comes up with here in this area. I'm um, letting her have free range, except I got to pick a couple of the plants, but um, if they die, they're her fault. <laughs> No. Um, I actually do have two trees of my own to plant. Let me show you. About two weeks ago today, I picked out uh, two trees to plant, and I think you're supposed to put them in the ground within two weeks, so we're hitting that mark. Hi, Opie. But I've been watering these two and keeping them upright, keeping them getting some sunshine. We got a Colorado blue spruce, which does need full sun. And then this shrub here, uh, actually, it needs something. It looks like it's dying, Eric. You're going to kill it. It's just a shrub, but it's called a emerald green a bore of taste smeggard. Okay, <laughs> that one might not survive. I've been giving it lots of water, but maybe it's too much sun. Does it say full sun? You know, yeah, both of them are full sun. Well, they've been getting lots of sun. This one looks great. That'll be a Christmas tree here in about 20 years. Um, we'll see. I don't think it's gonna make it. <laughs> and there's Tara in her spot, the good girl. And the good boy. He hey, Tara, where's Opie? He was just here. Well, he's being a putz. I'll remember that next time, Opie. Okay. Oh, wait, he's there he is. <laughs> Hi, buddy. I was just talking to you, or talking about you. I gotta unload a few more things. So, bear with me. I've got to pack up the truck with all my camping gear. Power station, refrigerator, tent, all my cooking gear. I'm gonna be attaching my motorcycle trailer, trailer Swift over there to the truck, putting my Harley in the trailer, Black Betty. Probably put her on the trickle charger because I haven't ridden the bike in a while. And um, gonna go on a trip, okay? So let me put away a few things, I'll get back to you tonight. All right, again, babe, the blue box is still very unorganized. I still need to box up a bunch of stuff over here and get my magnets out of the way, but uh, we got this freezer. I love this freezer, this $25 freezer that I got. Got a lot of ice cream in here. This is gonna be so nice to come in and just grab something simple, quick to go. These Oreo sandwiches are awesome. And then in the bottom, I got tons and tons of chicken and meat. And there's uh, steaks down there and more chicken breasts there. So 
and still plenty, plenty of room for uh, more stuff in here. So having this freezer off grid will save us trips. And it's just convenient because both of us have tiny freezers and refrigerators. So this is great. And the loudest thing in here is this Magic Chef fridge, which is humming a little louder than I remember them. I mean, I'm okay with it. Uses like 50 watts. So um, I got it on cool. It's down to 50 now. I'm just making sure it works. Yeah. Freezer. Oh yeah, ice cold up there. So it definitely works. I've got it set to six right now. That'll be a great place to... Here, I'll show you what I'll do. I'll, I'll show you what I was thinking about doing. Just throw in a, a warm 15 pack of uh, Keystone there. And we're good to go. So guys, be well. I'm going to bring connected internet with me on this camping trip. It is a motorcycle related camping trip and uh, we're going to have some fun. But um, Friday, Saturday and Sunday in Winslow are all triple digits. It's going to be, say it with me now, warm. Okay, bye.